Then on Sports Central, we go for a USFL game preview and prediction on the week two matchup between the Michigan Panthers and the New Jersey Generals. Both teams took close losses in week one, but the door is still wide open for both these teams to have a good season. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this match period today, starting out with your team trends. Panthers lost to the Houston Gamblers in week one, 12 to 17 was the final score there. So obviously a low scoring game. Uh, between two teams that are projected to be the worst teams in this league. And obviously, we still don't know a whole lot about these teams. We've only seen one game for each of the eight teams in the league. But, um, of course, being a low-scoring game. And it was kind of a sloppy matchup, too. I mean, Houston, they played decently well in the first half. But even the, in the second half, the Gamblers didn't even score a point. Now, but nonetheless, for the Panthers, they're 0-1. And obviously, a one-game losing streak heading into this matchup. Generals, they played the Birmingham Stallions in Week 1. That was actually the first game. Uh, of the season on Saturday night. They lost the game 24 to 28. But that game, honestly, between the Generals and the Stallions, I do think was, I mean, that was the best game of the weekend by far, if you ask if you ask me. I mean, both teams overall looked pretty good considering uh, this is just a startup league that is only in its early stages. And so for the Generals put up 24 points, they led the Stallions for a while, but in the end, Birmingham got the win. It was close, but the Generals, that was not a bad loss. I mean, this team, they kept it close, and they put some points up on the board, which is obviously important. And this team definitely looked promising, even though they did take a loss in Week 1. Games will be on Friday, April 22nd in Birmingham. So this will actually be the first game of Week 2. Coming up on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern is the kickoff. Spread is currently even between these two teams, and the over-under is 42. And this is still in the early stages of... Um, of the odds for this week. So potentially the spread could lean one way or the other. If it leans any way, I'd assume it'll probably be uh, the Generals favored by one to two, maybe three points. I'd be surprised if the Panthers were favored in this matchup. But for your week two rankings, you got the Generals at number four for me. Uh, the Generals could be at four, number five this week. I mean, those, it was kind of tough to, uh, to rank the Generals and the Gamblers against each other. But I do feel like New Jersey, this team, the way they looked, on Saturday night. I mean, I was I was impressed by their performance despite taking a loss. So I'm going to put the Generals in the top four, and the Panthers are my number eight. I had the Gamblers and the Panthers at number seven and number eight last week, and the Panthers taking the loss are obviously going to take number eight. And this team, I feel like Michigan, they, they've got some talent for sure, but the quarterback situation is a concern. They got Shea Patterson, obviously the former Michigan Wolverine quarterback, who I mean, it makes sense why the Panthers picked him up, but he's not. I mean, I'm just I'm just going to put it straight up. I mean, he's not an excellent. He's not the best quarterback in this league, and so it's going to be interesting to see how he develops. And obviously, it was still Week One, and he made a crucial mistake when he fumbled the ball and gave up a scoop and score uh, to Houston. That was the big play. That was um, definitely, I would say, his worst. But certainly, uh, there's a lot of growth that needs to be had for this Panthers team if they want to. Uh, to be one of the better teams in this league. But looking at um, you know, the Generals here, once again, they showed potential in their offense. It didn't look terrible. I mean, their defense maybe could have worked or it could, it could have been better in week one. But, yeah, we'll see how both these teams do as we head into week two. It's still very early on in this league. Here's your stat comparison. These are just your last or your stats from week one. Panthers uh, scored 12 points, allowed 17. They got 173 pass yards. 190 rush yards and their pass defense was okay 74 uh, pass yards allowed and then their rush defense allowed 100 so the rush defense did allow more um, to houston but then again houston's going to be more of a rushing team anyway and look at the generals he got 186 pass yards last week 222 rush yards so once again offensively new jersey did have a lot of success and their defense allowed a lot of pass yards but their rush defense only allowed 72. Some key points for this one. Panthers quarterback situation is a concern. You got Shea Patterson, Paxton Lynch. Both quarterbacks played in the week one matchup against Houston, but uh, both quarterbacks, I mean, if you look at Shea Patterson's stats, his stats weren't terrible, but if you consider the inconsistency that he had, plus a couple of the crucial errors he made, uh, that definitely makes a difference if you're looking at it um, in that way. But I mean, if you look at, I mean, Paxton Lynch, obviously, he might get some more playing time. He just, man, yeah, Paxton Lynch, he did not look good when he played, though, so in week one. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with the quarterback situation, but it is a concern here for Michigan. Stevie Scott the third, he does show upside. He played generally well in week one, got over 70 yards, and defensively, they were decent against the Gamblers as well. So, I mean, this team does show some upside, but there certainly is a lot of improvement that needs to be made. 
And look at the Generals played a competitive game against the Stallions. They took a loss, but it was close. And they certainly looked like the best team to lose a game this weekend. Um, yes, and despite taking a loss, they're impressive. And they show some potential on the offensive side for sure. Putting up 24 points is not bad in comparison to you know, a few of the teams that we saw over the course um, of the past week here. But that said, let's get to the prediction here for Panthers and Generals coming up here in week two of the USFL. I'm going to be going with the Generals here to get the win. 24 to 14 is my predicted final score. The Panthers kicking situation is also a mess. Um, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of that way for a lot of the teams in this league is the kicking situation. The special teams are uh, very poor. And so, I mean, I just don't see, I mean, the Panthers are probably going to have to go, go for it on fourth down and in many circumstances with their kicking situation. Um, so I'm going to go with a Generals win here by 10. 24 to 14 is my predicted final score. I just don't see this offense with Michigan being able to put many points up on the board, especially at the early stages of the season and looking at them in week one. I mean, they really struggled offensively. So I'm going to go New Jersey here, 24 to 14. I feel like New Jersey's offense is, I mean, they looked good in week one. If they can continue that into week two, I think they'll be just fine. And uh, see, no matter what happens with the spread, I do have the Generals covering it. Um, and your over-under, of course, is 42 for this game. I'm going to take the under. I took the under for all four games last week, and the only one that went over was, I think, General Stallions. All three of the other ones went under. So I'm going to continue to take the under this week, mainly because the offense is still... Uh, once again, are fairly poor, but uh, the the lines for the over under are slightly lower this week as well. So that could make a difference in my predictions. Uh, I mean, they're kind of ranging from like 45 to 50 or so for week one. Now it's kind of in the 38 to 45 range or so. So that does make things different. But I do have New Jersey covering and winning this game by 10, 24 to 14. Let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game. And I appreciate you guys are watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.